Thank you everybody that came early to join us for our press conference today. Thank you to everybody up here on the dais. I'm Christina Pontre from Top Rank. Uh, thank you for watching Streaming Live. Uh, we're here for a press conference to announce the rematch of a spectacular fight, which was in the first fight that ended in a dramatic knockout victory for a lady of the storm, Alvarez, when he upset the champ, Sergey Kovalev, back on the boardwalk in Atlantic City. So it only makes sense to run it back again and have the rematch which will take place on Saturday, February 2nd. It's gonna happen at the Ford Center at the Star in Frisco, Texas, which is the home of the Dallas Cowboys practice facility. So Jerry Jones and the crew is really excited to have us there in Dallas. And I know these guys are excited to fight there. Um, just some bits of information. Tickets will go on sale for the rematch, Alvarez Kovalev 2, next Friday, the 14th at 10 a.m. Central Time. And you can also go online at SeatGeek the tickets are very reasonably priced, starting at $25 for fight night. So log on and buy tickets to join us in Frisco. The undercard will start at 7 p.m. Eastern time. It will be streamed live on ESPN+. And then at 10 p.m. Eastern, the co-feature, which is soon to be announced, and the main event will take place on ESPN. So um, to kick things off, since we're going to keep things a little bit short today, I don't know if you guys know we have a fight going on behind us here in a little bit. I'm going to send it over now to Made Event's very own Kathy Duba. Kathy? Thank you so much, Christina. Um, you know, great fighters who fight competitive fights and take on all comers sometimes have a bad night. Um, great champions also come back. And so uh, we, we are excited and happy to have the opportunity uh, for Sergey to be able to come back and, and get the chance to reclaim his, his belt against the later Alvarez. Uh, he let me know the, the night, I think it was the morning after the fight, that this is what he planned to do. And so, uh, although it shouldn't have shocked anybody, it's going to be another great night. And um, I want to thank everyone associated, including Bob Aaron with Top Rank and the people at ESPN for making all this possible. And of course, uh, Yvonne Michelle, always a pleasure and a leader. Congratulations, it was a great performance. But uh, it's going to change this. Thank you. Bob, Bob Aaron, would you like to say something? You know, on behalf of Top Rank, we are very delighted that uh, we have the opportunity to bring to ESPN uh, two of the great promoters in boxing, uh, Kathy Duver of Main Events and Yvonne Michelle. Uh, who will be bringing uh, the public this great, great event. Uh, ESPN is dedicated to bringing the best events in boxing uh, with as many promoters as we can round up uh, to do the events. Kathy and I go back years and years. Uh, events we did with uh, her late husband, and herself, uh, and Ivan Michel, we've only gotten to know him recently, he's a terrific guy, a great promoter. We're looking for a sensational event uh, promoted by these two entities uh, in uh, Texas on February 2nd. And happy birthday, Bob. Thank you. Hey. 87 years young today. And now we're going to introduce the manager of Sergey Kovalev, Igis Klimas. Would you like to say a few words before you introduce your fighter? Uh, good afternoon, everybody. Not so not used to start speaking first. Usually, you know, speak last one. The new champion. <laughs> um, uh, thank you for coming. Thank you, media, for doing all you know all the media around the world. Uh, Alvarez is. Tough, tough fighter he showed last time, and uh, we're hoping uh, Sergey gonna bring something, something new as usual, and um, I think uh, it's gonna be a very, very good fight on February 2nd. Uh, ESPN is gonna show around the country, many people are gonna notice that fight. Uh, most likely HBO even closed their shop because Sergey got knocked out, so that's how they were not happy about it. Um, well, looking forward for February 2nd. Thank you. Uh, I'll you yeah, absolutely. Uh, okay, so, um, uh, as I said, great, great fighters come back and, and, and prove time and again why they're so great. Um, Sergey has a formula 
he has an idea. He has a, he has a, a great new trainer, Buddy McGurk. We, we've had a lot of success watching him bring fighters back in the past. We all remember Arturo Gatti and the amazing job he did with him. Um, and so we're going to see, uh, as Ada said, it's kind of interesting to, to be talking first with Sergey. That never happens. So, um, you know, we're, we're not going to get a, we're not going to get used to this for too long. <laughs> Next time we'll be talking last. But right now, um, it is my great pleasure, as always, to introduce to you the, the former uh, light heavyweight champion of the world, and um, in my view, the most electrifying performer in the sport, bar none, Sergey Krushchev Kovalev. Hi everybody, thank you for your time. Uh, um, thanks to media, thanks to boxing fans for uh, for your come here. Like, I'm really happy to get back uh, in the train camp for the match. And I don't want to speak a lot, of, uh, just uh, I want uh, to, to see an uh, opportunity to get back my belt and right now I started my training camp and uh, I hope uh, Alvarez will be the best shape in this uh, fight and we will show the great fight like because last fight was terrible like just uh, I don't want to make any excuses it just uh, was my gift to him you know like but in February 2nd I should have proved that I'm the best in life heavyweight Thank you very much. See you in February. Thank you, Sergey. Now we'll go over to the champion side. Mr. Ivan Michel, take it away. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, everybody, for being here. Thank you very much, Kathy, for your collaboration, your partnership, and your friendship. Uh, congratulations, and thank you, Bob, for buying that fight. It's going to be a great, great fight. It was a good fight. Uh, the last time, but uh, it's going to be even better on February 2nd. No idea that was uh, a contender, and when the contender beat the champion, he's gaining a lot in confidence, gaining a lot more resources to get ready, to get prepared for the next one. So I'm convinced that Eliada will raise again to the challenge. We are, we recognize that even if Eliada is the champion, of the WBO, the star of the light heavyweight division, still Sergei Kovalev. So on February 2nd, on August the 4th, Elida took Sergei's uh, title, and on February 2nd, he would take his place as the star of the division. So I would like to introduce you the guy who engineered the strategy uh, when uh, in, uh, in August Elida beat uh, Kovalev. He is certainly the best trainer in Canada, the trainer with the most success the, 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 in the history of boxing in Canada. So I would like to introduce you to trainer Mark Franzi. Thank you, Yvonne. Thank you, everybody. Uh, first of all, I would like to thank everybody who made that fight happen. Yeah, Group Yvonne Michel, Main Event, Top Rank Boxing, the ESPN. It's a, a great opportunity for us to, um, to respect our word and to give Sergey Kovalev his rematch as he deserves. Uh, the first fight was a good challenge, a tough challenge. The second fight, we know that he's very professional. He have a good professional team around him. It's going to be a, even a tougher challenge, but Alvarez is ready to pay the price. Sergey will try to show people that was probably an accident, but we're going to show that Alvarez is there to stay and he's the champion. Thank you. And now he is undefeated, 24-0. He is, he, in his last three fights, he beat three former world champions, Lucien Boutet, Jean Pascal, and Sergei Kovalev. He is a champion. His dream is one day to box here at the, bar, at the uh, MGM, um, not at the MGM, the Madison, Square, Madison Garden. Square Garden. He said the MGM too. His dream is to fight here one day at the Madison Square Garden. But uh, he is very happy, very thrilled to fight in Texas. Uh, for his next fight, so here the champion, Elida Alvarez. Uh, hi everybody, uh, thank you for coming here. Uh, gracias a todos por, por venir aquí. Y bueno, uh, primera vez que tengo una rueda de prensa como campeón. Uh, quiero darle las gracias a Katy Dua, Menieven, al Grupo Ivo Michel, a Bob Aaron uh, por esta otra gran oportunidad. 
This is the first time I'm having a press conference as a champion. I want to thank, uh, thank everyone involved. Uh, Katy Zula, I mean, event, you and Michelle, Bob Adam, and Top Rank. Eh, bueno, eh, como siempre lo dije antes de, de, de la primera pelea, eh, el respeto se lo doy a Sergio Cobalé, siempre se lo voy a dar un campeón de respeto, para mí sigue siendo uno de los mejores en la categoría, pero bueno, eh, ahora el campeón soy yo, eh, luché para esto, trabajé duro para esto, eh, soy consciente de que cuando tú llegas a, a ser campeón ya no, no, te, no te quieres entrenar igual, pero sé que la segunda pelea sé que va a ser difícil, eh, porque si Sergio Cobalea aceptó la revancha eh, para enfrentarme el 2 de febrero es porque un verdadero campeón Since the first fights I have a, a lot of respect for him uh, he's uh, one of the best fighters in the division still he's a great champion uh, but now I'm the champion some people say that when you become champion you don't train as hard but uh, I'm training harder than the, from the first fight for, for this one y sé que el 2 de febrero va a ser una, un combate difícil, eh, pero para, para eso tengo un buen equipo de entrenamiento, tengo un buen entrenador, un entrenador muy competitivo. Um, on February 2nd, I'm going to be ready. I have a great team around me. I have a, a trainer that pushes me. Y me estoy preparando muy fuerte, creo que mucho más eh, que la primera vez, porque sé que esta segunda vez va a ser más difícil. Eh, entonces me estoy preparando fuerte para seguir siendo el campeón por mucho tiempo. Gracias. I'm training even harder for this fight because I, I'm, I know it's going to be an even tougher challenge, but uh, I'm training hard to become to be a champion for a very long time. Gracias. Thank you, Cardi. All right, uh, that wraps it up as far as the portion here with the fighters. Just to, just a reminder, the rematch is going down for the WBO Light Heavyweight Championship of the World. Saturday, February 2nd, from the Ford Center at the Star in Frisco, Texas, home of the Dallas Cowboys practice facility. Tickets go on sale next Friday, starting at $25. Visit SeatGeek.com to join us in Texas, or you can watch on...